guys welcome back and this video would be my tbr for the reading rush i always want to call it booktubers but it was renamed like last year or not whatever the reading rush in general is a set of different challenges if i remember it usually has like an instagram challenge and video challenges and different like read together events and also the reading challenges and i'm not sure if i will participate in video challenges and all the other stuff but i'm definitely prepared for tbr uh who knows if i will read everything i'm usually not that fast of a reader to to finish everything within a reader song no matter how long it is is it like a week or a month or whatever i you i i can't but at least this year i will have like a week long vacation kinda <laughs> i'll be sitting here in a flat but you know i will have time off of work so i could read <laughs> okay let's let's move on to the books i've selected so the first challenge was a book with a cover which matches your birth style and i'm not familiar with stuff a lot according to google i have two options depending on how it's calculated to the uh, zodiac sign or to just the month of birth so it could be just uh, purple or deep wine red something like that uh, for this one i've kind of cheated because the spine of the book is this beautiful purple but the book itself is not so but uh, the only other purple book I had, I've read already, and the other kind of wine red book is way chunkier than this one. So we will pretend that this is a purple book, and it is Academia by Isaac Asimov. Uh, it's sci fi set in the far future, and if I'm not mistaken, the scientists from this academia are trying to kind of save the galactic empire or something like that i've read this synopsis a while ago but i usually like isaac Azim, so i hope it will be a good read uh next one next church was extremely hard because it was book which starts with the and i was a little bit confused uh is it starts like the text of a book starts with the or the title of a book starts with the i wasn't sure from the name of the challenge but uh, from how the Ariel and her friends selected the books for the ATBRs I, I guess it's the title of a book and it was really hard first of all I don't read all of my books in English so it's kinda if I'm being completely uh, honest with selecting a book for a challenge it's kinda uh, Half of the books are already out of the window because in Russian language there is no word the. Uh, then I realized that I don't have a lot of English books with the, the in the beginning of the title as well. Uh, so I kind of just looked for my Goodreads TBR and I've selected uh, Bright Siders by Jane Wilde. I have this book uh, uh, in a digital version uh, for a while and that I've I remember I was picking it up for a couple of reading challenges and readathons and I've never actually started it. And if I remember correctly, it's about the music band or something like that. Uh, I can say I've really liked another Jane Wilde book I've read a while ago. So I don't have high hopes for it, but I decided I don't want to spend a lot of time to finding the book for this challenge. As, uh, I just want to select I already have either in a physical form or in a digital form so it was the first one I found so whatever I will try to read it so the next challenge was the book which inspired the movie characterization you've already seen and I don't watch a lot of movies or TV series and usually if I'm willing to watch something and I knew that it was based on the book i usually read the book and then watch the movie or don't because like ah, i'm lazy and i'm not a huge fan of the movies um so i've decided that i don't wanna 
overseeing this one and trying to remember uh, from what the small number of movies or whatever I watched, what was based on a book and what I could easily uh, get for the this recent week and I decided that I would select Harry Potter because Harry Potter usually fits every reader song I do. Also, if you're wondering, yes, this book is started already. I have a bookmark here. Oh, it's a paper rather. Um, I usually am not so strict uh, with the rules uh, that I need to start and finish a book strictly within the reader song, specifically start a book because I usually when the reader song come around, I have quite a few books which I've started and I'm not even halfway through, maybe a good couple of chapters, uh, and they fit the challenges, but like they started already. Usually I've selected that one for the readers on if I'm not, uh, if I'm not, if I didn't reach the middle of a book, I could pick it up for a challenge. I know that some people are really strict with that and they only select books they didn't start it or if they are started, uh, they need to start from the beginning again when the uh, when they are reading for the reason but I usually don't over complicate the thing and again I was picking it up for a couple of reader songs still haven't finished it I finished my Belarusian edition I didn't finish the English one so maybe hopefully I will do it at least for this reading rush the first challenge is the uh, first book you've touched but I will pick it in the end because I'm going to pick a book for a challenge from the uh, all the other books I've picked for the readers on in general. Challenge number five should be a book you will read outside of the house, and because I rarely leave my house, especially now when I work from home, I decided to select a really small book, and I will be reading this comic. Uh, the title translates kind of like. Uh, including her name and face. Uh, the author is Olga Kovalova and Nikita Lavretsky. I've bought it uh, last autumn on a local convention. And this is love story, uh, contemporary love story set in the city where I live now. So I decided it would be fun to read. Uh, still haven't picked it up. It's really tiny, it's less than a hundred pages. So the next challenge was kind of confusing because uh, if you read the uh, text for the reading challenge it says uh, your least read genre but on the video they were saying like it could be a genre you want to read more or something like that because if I would have to select my least read genre it would be as a detective or thriller I don't read thrillers at all I like I don't like them uh, or love stories which was sounded like not exciting uh, okay I've selected another love story for that but at least it's a comic book and I I mainly want to read it because it's set in, uh, in Minsk and not because it's a love story you know um, so I decided to go with the idea of the genre I want to read more and selected non-fiction and I'll be reading uh, How to Give Up Plastic by Will Mac McCallum um, in general I think like since for the last year I tried to read more about uh, environmentalism, plastic pollution and all this kind of stuff. So, And I have this book for a while and I still haven't started it, so I think it's time. It's quite small. How many pages do you have? Uh, 200 pages. That's pretty much doable. Um, and the last challenge. Uh, it should be a book uh, that takes place on a different continent than yours. And that is funny because um, the creators of a reading rush is a best in Canada, uh, so for them it's like anything that's not North America. Uh, but I live in Europe, so I've selected books that take place in the uh, kind of North America. I don't know if it's like specifically US or Canada, it's somewhere around this line. So this is uh, Trail of Lightning by Rebecca Ronhorst. So, I had this book for a while again, I just don't have a lot of time to read, but I've heard a lot of good things about it, so I'm pretty excited. So, if I remember correctly, this is kind of urban fantasy, but the fantasy part is based on uh, uh, Native American mythology, specifically on Navajo tribe. 
if I remember correctly. Um, so it's, this is the first part of a series. So yeah, I also I think I was picking it up for a couple of challenges before and I still haven't started it uh, because it, this is this quite a chunky book. And hopefully, I will read it now when I have one week off. It would be great if I would read this one. Um, so coming back to the challenge number four, I will try to kind of mix it up. Uh, close my eyes. You know, I kind of could feel them by the cover um, because I know that Academy is hard cover and really like sharp edge. And you know, so I had, like two books uh, in the um, dust jacket. Um, okay, okay. Um, Is it Academy? Yes, I've selected Academy, so this book would be both for the challenge number uh, number one, for the purple cover, or, or the spine at least, and for the first book you touch. Which is funny because it was uh, when I was picking a book from, from my bookshelf, it was the first book I took off, so that's fun. So, all these books and also the bright shadows uh, would be everything I'm aiming to read during the reading rush. Uh, just kind of don't seem realistic, even though I have one tiny book and two quite small books. I feel like, uh, you know, if I will have sit down and read all day, every day, yeah, I could finish that without a problem, but I don't want to spend my vacation on just reading and doing nothing else. So I am almost sure that I will not uh, read everything from this list, but I hope I will at least start some of the books. So, yep, that's it. Um, let me know, are you participating in the readiness this year or maybe you're just uh, doing Insta challenges or whatever. Um, Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.